Glitch animations are more popular than ever, and if you want your videos to stand out and look truly professional, you're in the right place. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through three powerful glitch transitions that can instantly upgrade your editing skills. Each transition focuses on a different effect and teaches you a unique technique, so I recommend practicing each one along with me to get the best results. Let's start with the first glitch transition, which is simple and great for beginners. You'll begin with two clips on your timeline. Go to the project panel, click on the new item button, and create a new adjustment layer. Drag this layer above your clips. Now, place the playhead right between the two clips and move 16 frames to the left. Trim the adjustment layer to that point, then move the playhead 16 frames to the right from the center and trim the other side of the adjustment layer. With the layer selected, head to the effects panel and search for the VR digital glitch effect. Apply it to the adjustment layer. In the effect controls, expand the distortion settings. Set color distortion to 100, distortion rate to around 70, and increase the evolution value to add movement. Next, add the strobe light effect. Set the strobe color to black, the strobe probability to 50%, and adjust the blend with original value to your liking. Finally, add a chromatic aberration effect to enhance the glitch feel. This gives you a clean and dynamic digital glitch transition. Play around with the values to get the best results for your style. You now have a stunning glitch transition ready to go. The second transition is the spawning glitch, which works especially well when both clips share the same environment. Start by placing your second clip one track above the first. Go to the second frame of this top clip and make a cut. Now move this cut piece 16 frames back in time. This will be your transition length. Select the clip and open the effect controls. Use the pen tool to create a mask around the subject in the program monitor. You don't need to be extremely precise like in rotoscoping, but aim for a good outline. Once done, right click the clip and nest it. This allows the effects to apply correctly beyond the mask. Now apply the VR chromatic aberration and Gaussian blur effects. Then hold Alt and drag the nested clip a few frames forward in the timeline to duplicate it. Repeat this process multiple times, shifting each duplicate slightly ahead. On the first duplicate, increase the blurriness until the subject becomes nearly invisible. On each subsequent layer, gradually reduce the blur and slightly increase the chromatic aberration to create a flickering, glitchy reveal. Keep repeating this process until you reach the original clip. The result is a striking spawning glitch transition that blends energy with visual interest. The third transition is a spinning zoom glitch, combining motion and distortion for a high impact effect. Begin by creating an adjustment layer and placing it above the two clips. Put the playhead between the clips and move 10 frames to the left, trimming the adjustment layer at that point. Then move 10 frames to the right and trim the layer again, so you have a 20 frame span. Now duplicate the adjustment layer and move the copy one track above, ensuring both layers are the same length. On the lower adjustment layer, apply the replicate effect then apply the mirror effect. In the effect control, under the replicate effect and set the count to 3. Then in the mirror effect, set the first mirror angle to 90 degrees and drag the reflection center down to connect in the middle. Add a second mirror with negative 90 degrees and move the center upward. Add a third with an angle of 0 degrees and move it to the left. And finally one at 180 degrees moving it to the right. This creates a seamless tiled look with no black bars during the spin. Next, apply the transform effect. At the beginning of the clip, set the scale to 300 to normalize the zoomed in look. Add a rotation keyframe at the start with zero degrees, then move to the end and set it to 360 degrees for a full spin. To make the motion smoother, open the velocity curve editor and ease in and out the rotation. Increase the shutter angle to create motion blur for a cinematic look. For the glitch element, add the chromatic aberration effect to the adjustment layer. Set keyframes in the middle of the animation, then set those values to zero at the beginning and end so the glitch fades in and out. You now have a stunning spinning glitch zoom transition ready to go. And there you have it, three powerful glitch transitions that will dramatically improve your editing style. If you want to learn more, like how to make smooth zoom transitions, be sure to check the video description or click the I button to watch my detailed video on that topic. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome tutorials just like this one.